You hear that? That's the awkward silence of a family dinner after you just got caught vaping. Most vapes contain high levels of nicotine and disappointment. <sighs> Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, I actually wanted to shout out a video game that really doesn't need no shout out. But I, I do want to uh, thank the developers for just, you know, going at it every single time and just coming up with something different with this game. Because, you know, I, I'll say with me, I've struggled these past, like, few years with video games. And it just seems like throughout these uh pandemic years like yeah it's you know 2020 i'm trying to think yeah gaming wasn't really all that i think i was just more so playing games i already had but there wasn't really no games i can think of in 2020 that came besides cyberpunk i think that was really the only game that i can think of that came out that was like worth getting into call of duty black ops cold war it was decent but um yeah overall like i was running out of ideas when it came to gaming because at the time being yeah i had my uh xbox and my playstation and yeah there wasn't really nothing to get into when it came to gaming i felt like i played everything that i need to play or seen everything i need to see and there wasn't really nothing else to uh do so yeah i was like fam i struggled with that um and then at some point in time i got into streaming and this game Fortnite was one of the first few games that I had started playing when I got into streaming. Like, I remember I was streaming a little bit of Apex. Um, what are some other games that I was streaming? Yeah, I think it was, like, mainly Apex um, and uh, uh, Fortnite. Like, those were, like, the two games I was kind of going back and forth with. But Fortnite, I will say this much, that I felt that when I had started back playing that game again throughout the pandemic, bro, I don't know where... And when I developed this skill for Fortnite, but it was some insane stuff. And I still have this skill till this day. So I don't know what's going on <laughs> with Fortnite. But bro, I'm telling you, I, I remember when I started like really sitting down and playing this game. I would think it was like I had got like um above five kills. And usually when I play Fortnite, it's either I get killed, like I manage to like run around the map, come across nobody. And then, um, yeah, then at some point in time, like, get really close to winning or being, like, off up in the top 20 or top 10, maybe. And then at some point in time, I get killed. But overall, though, I, um, yeah, when I started, like, playing it throughout the pandemic and things, bruh, I was leaving games with, like, five plus kills. Like, I think there would be games where I leave with five kills, eight kills. I remember when I had started playing it again. I, I won and won the game and won the game on top of the kills that I got. I got 15 kills in one game. That's something that's just unheard of with me, especially with games like Fortnite. Yeah, that was unheard of, bruh. And I, it's still to this day, it shocks me that I managed to pull something like that off, right? So anyways, throughout the years, um, throughout the pandemic years, uh, I made friends play um, Fortnite with them, seeing all the different new content that they was adding to the game but then i had to say probably my favorite was having uh content that the fan well i think that's kind of something that's always uh been there but i ain't really like i i didn't really play before the pandemic i didn't really play fortnite like that i played fortnite when it originally came out and then i played like a little bit of it when it became that um uh battle royale and then after that then it was like oh, okay you know it's whatever you know i'll just play it whenever i guess but yeah, Fortnite, it's one game where I'm like, I don't play it as much, but it still is like, and I have to say out of all the games that's out right now, it's one of my favorite games just because of the amount of content that comes with Fortnite. So yeah, like they have the modes that's created by the community and you can play that. And I'm telling you, like, shout out to the to the Fortnite community because if it honestly, I don't get me wrong, the battle royale mode, it is amazingly fun. Don't do not give me and then the OG mode that they came out with um when the game originally came out, that's fun too. There's nothing wrong with those modes. But I honestly think that if it wasn't for the community and all the stuff that they were doing for Fortnite, I don't know where Fortnite would be at right now. So that's why I'm like, yeah, Fortnite, you guys, that's something where it's like, and I've been sticking with it, that it's impossible for Fortnite to fall off. 
Like, it don't matter what they do. It don't matter what they come out with. It's always going to be good. <laughs> and it's crazy. It's honestly insane to see that with Fortnite. It's honestly, it's, um, it's insane to see that with any video game. And then you see Fortnite, and it's, then what's the, the one thing that I like about Fortnite is that you don't have to buy nothing in the game like i mean yeah there's the cosmetics and then there's the og mode but other than that all the fan created stuff the battle royale mode and they came out with um a newer mode in the game uh with lego it's like lego fortnite and it's kind of somewhat similar to the uh no actually you know if I, if there is any it's it reminds me of the og mode but then it also does remind me of uh uh whatchamacallit uh minecraft I'm thinking to myself, bruh, you guys came out with a Lego collaboration, and they think I'm, I'm thinking that it's a permanent thing because they don't create a whole YouTube channel, and they don't got other Lego-related things. I'm saying it trips me out that they, it was something that I wasn't even thinking of. It was it was something that I was like, bruh, I you know it's it's just, but I, it's something that I asked for because that's the crazy thing. I, I'm honestly I'm telling you, I think somebody at Fortnite secretly like you know be watching my videos or listening to my podcast episodes something joining my stream they watching something of mine because i remember there was this uh lego game that i played some time ago i think it was like um something tells i think but anyways it was a it was like the last lego game that they came out with where it was uh i don't know what this story was it was it was just an off the wall lego game i mean more so played it just to see what it was about and things but so anyways um, but I think I did say at some point in time when I had played that game was that I would like to see, um, like a Lego building game where you just build random stuff out of Legos. Why did Fortnite just like literally come out with this stuff just randomly? I'm saying like, that wasn't even something that I had asked for Fortnite. I never, excuse me, I never would have like put Lego and Fortnite in the same conversation just because it's something that just, it, it doesn't cross my mind, but they just did it. And it was like, oh yeah, by the way, we're we're doing this. So, you know, and I'm I'm trying to think like earlier this year, I didn't hear nothing about no Lego Fortnite collaboration. So that's why I'm like, it, it's like they just do stuff and people are just cool with it. And I'm like, and I'm one of those people. I'm people's because I'm like, fam, they any every time when they come out or with they when they announce something, I it could be is uh, you know, cause I, that's one thing that I don't really pay attention to is them like, um, concerts. I think there was like the one time I remember I did see one of those concerts. It was from another person's, uh, stream. Other than that, I don't really particularly care too much for the concerts, but those are cool too. Everything that I had to say that I've seen from Fortnite has always been dope. So that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm doing this podcast episode to let any and everybody know if you want to get into Fortnite, it is definitely recommended. I don't usually do episodes like this on a regular because for the most part, I be ranting about video games. I'm ranting about Fortnite, but in a good, positive way. Like, nah, this is the positive. This is the positive Fortnite rant because, no, every time <laughs> when they come out with something, it never fails to amaze me. Like, that's the one game, like, if, like, because I, I had to say, like, me and my, um, like, the friends that I do play games with, like, I know at times they like to play Apex, me, Fortnite, all the time. I'm like, don't get me wrong, like, I'll play Apex with them, I'm not that type of friend where I'm like, like no, let's play Fortnite. No, I'm, if they want to play Apex, I'm like, yeah, cool, we, I'm gonna suck, but I'm gonna, oh, I'm, no, that's a pause on that, well, well, wait, wait a minute, I'm going to suck at the game, okay, cause I just, yeah, that's, that's something that, I, you know, took me, yeah, I just, I was in a mindset where, you know, I was younger, and, you know, things were be, was able to be said, and a pause wasn't required at the end of it, I felt like, yeah, that, that definitely required a pause, I feel like I need to, I'm gonna say pause again because i still feel uncomfortable by what i just said pause <laughs> all right because no nah, that that was weird i don't know where i don't know what what happened there but that ain't gonna happen no more all right so but anyway do you you see you see the effect that fortnite has on you where it just it honestly fortnite i i because no so last night i played um lego fortnite i honestly felt like a kid like, I, I, I genuinely felt like a kid playing a video game. Because if you guys, like, know, like, what's been happening with me in the past 24 hours when it comes to video games, like, bruh, I have been um, trying to have fun in some games. But in some games, it's like they want you to have fun. And then at some point in time, they just add a twist to it that's just not fun no more. And I'm like, I don't know what you guys got going on, but y'all need to stop doing that. The day before um, that zombie game, it comes out. 
straight just like I so many issues. I'm gonna talk on that game here in a moment, but um, well, it probably in a different episode. I want this episode just to be about Fortnite. But anyways, played the day before, was having issues with that. I'm trying to think of some other uh games, you know? Yeah, and it's like, and then uh, yeah, it's just it's it's so much going on right now when it comes to gaming. I played Lego Fortnite, and it honestly it, it's a stress reliever, bro. It is a legitimate stress reliever. I was like, no, because I, I had got caught up recording and um, not recording, but uh, like uh, working on content today. And I was like, man, I'm telling you, I, I probably because the one the other game that I have been playing um, is the crew, too. I did get back into that game, but I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, if Lego Fortnite would have came out a long time ago, I probably would have been playing that game because I'm like, I realizing what that game is. It, it's it literally is mine. It's like a free version of Minecraft. And I'm thinking to myself, like, bruh, I, and it, that, that just overall shows me that when it comes to gaming, bruh, you don't need to charge money. It's like, as long as you, like, yeah, cosmetics and all that stuff, okay, cool. But for the game itself, in this day and age, you really don't know at the end of the day how people are going to react to stuff when it comes to gaming. So that's why, in my personal opinion, a lot of video games nowadays need to be free. Because the fact, the fact that, and that's how you know Fortnite is making um bank I, I wonder how much um money they make annually because no it's like that's how you know fortnite is making bank when literally probably the biggest thing that they've added to the game is probably since uh the battle royale stuff and they haven't charged no money for it so that's why i'm like no let how hold on how much money does fort wait fortnite make um in a year okay like, let's let's see F yeah, there. So 2021, they made um five. Uh, wait. No. Okay. So hold on, hold on. So there was like 2018, they made um 5.4 billion dollars. 2019, they made 3.7 billion dollars. 2020, they made 5.1 billion dollars. Yeah, because it was probably people was getting back um into Fortnite, and that probably might have been the only time. Cause yeah, it was like we. I think at the end of the day, if the pandemic hadn't happened. I, yeah, it, it probably, um, Fortnite, their sales might have been going. Probably a lot of things that's happening today, right now with Fortnite, would have happened a long time ago. So, but anyways, um, and then, uh, 2021, they made 5.8 um, uh, billion. So, yeah, roughly, like, you know, probably four to, uh, five billion dollars. That's how you know that they don't need to be out, they don't need to be charging people money for games. And yet, you got games like Call of Duty, you got games like, um, NBA 2K, you got games like destiny where they want to charge for the um added on content meanwhile fortnite on the other hand they're free and any other added on content that's added into the game they ain't charging even if it's on this uh this um the stuff where the fans come up with they're not even charging all they just ask for is the credit for their stuff so that's a, that's how you know that those like the people behind Fortnite are people that genuinely care about gaming. Now I would really hate to do all say all of this and you know do um do this whole episode just for them to turn around and be like, oh we're gonna start charging charging for things. But I, I it, until then I'm like, bruh, Fortnite is always gonna have nothing but positive things to say um or positive things coming from me. Because I'm like, nah, that's that's just crazy to see where it's like all these games have been coming out throughout the years. And you got where there be some games that do better than others. And you got games that just get more media attention. Meanwhile, Fortnite, on the other hand, it's like, yeah, don't get me wrong. They do get the media attention. But I, I do feel that um, they don't get enough compared to like other games. Like you don't see, I, I can't remember if I ever had seen the time that uh, Fortnite had a commercial on TV. So... That's why I'm like, bruh, I, they don't get like like Call of Duty, for an example. They don't get no um, uh, media attention like them where they got TV commercials and all that stuff. Yeah, they might get like collaborations, but Call of Duty, they get, or, um, I mean, but, well, yeah, both games, like, I had to say that they both do get collaborations. But I, I just have to say that they just, Fortnite got more going on. I feel like Fortnite could come out with a whole story mode, kind of like on some stuff like Call of Duty and things, and it'll be chill. I mean, they should. Because I'm like, I definitely, um, uh, well, no, I mean, yeah, they, they kind of technically did and things, but it, it's, yeah, it's, but in, if not that, I'm all like, probably somebody done created a story, um, type thing for Fortnite. Because I'm saying, again, 
the fans be creating stuff. So, yeah, man, I, I, I'm I saying, like, with Fortnite, it's one of those things where it's just... And honestly, I think that's going to probably be the next big thing that does happen with Fortnite is that there's going to probably be somebody out there that comes up with a dope idea for one of the community things, and Fortnite's going to uh, most likely turn it into their own game. And I can see that happening right now. They're, like, from the studios of Fortnite, and there'll be some free game, and then it's just, it's just like Fortnite, and then... uh, But it's just, it has, like... It it has like elements of Fortnite in the game, but it's its own separate thing. Like if it's a story based thing or whatever. But I, I definitely do see Fortnite. Um, they yeah, they just gonna uh, it's it's gonna go from a game to uh, a franchise of where it's like a bunch of other games get released underneath um, Fortnite. Cause I'm saying like I I can honestly I can see it. I can really see it. They they have all these different collaborations. I can see Fortnite. They could do like a uh um f uh Fortnite presents Spider Man. Fortnite presents um uh a ba bro. They should. I wonder if Fortnite does have a basketball game. Cause I'm like bro. They they should definitely uh does Fortnite have a wait have a basketball game. Uh, how to play new basketball mode in Fortnite. Top seven creative maps. Yeah, but is it like a like a thing where you can go? I'm saying they should do that. They should do that. They done added basketball um uh, players into the game before. They should definitely come out with a basketball mode. If not, I'll see if I could come out with a basketball mode. Cause nah, man, I'm telling you, Fortnite, what they got going on, it's just insane. You know, just with the amount of like creativity that I went into this game and stuff. So. But anyways, and that being said, I'm, bro, I'm just sitting there thinking, like, that basketball mode would be so sick because I, you best believe I would be playing that and stuff. So, but anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you're viewing this on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. I'm like, I, I don't just, I guess, if yeah, for those that is watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. For those listening to this on the podcast streaming service of your preferred choice, thank you for listening. Uh, make sure you follow me across all social media platforms at TMOSBoss. Stay Stay tuned for the next episode and peace.